Scarpio. His defeat here, Aldershot, will start with the early stages of that first half. You know, conceding a goal so early would have been frustrating, but mainly came back into it and scored and looked quite good value during that first half. Yeah, um, got to try and adjust at the moment. We seem to be not starting great, and that's both first and second half. Essentially, we can't give teams like this um, any chances, and some of them were given to them rather than actually having to uh, make it themselves. Essentially, you can't concede four goals in any game and expect to win it. But when you go away from home and you score three, it should be more than enough, and it wasn't today. Our defending at times was a uh, cause for concern, and it hasn't been like that for the last two games. We're surprised by the, some of the performances today based on our last two games, um, but we'll rectify it as quickly as we can. We'll talk a little bit about the game as a whole now. Obviously, it was very topsy-turvy, and I suppose there's two sides to look at it. We'll look at the defensive side first. We've played the likes of Fylde and Barnet over the last you know, week or so, who are known for scoring goals, and we nullified them. All the shot another team who you know score goals for fun, but it was kind of the opposite story today. Yeah, I think for both teams, I think the game was really, really open, and that's the opposite of what we wanted to do. Um, but the game got stretched at times, um, and it was attack and attack and attack after waves of one team and then the other. Um, it's not the way that we play. Unfortunately, it became a game like that, and... Um, we gave some uncharacteristic goals away. But yeah, I suppose the positive is that we're creating chances, we're scoring goals. We've got to try and uh, make sure we don't concede as many. Well. we'll talk about the flip side of that now, obviously creating a lot of chances, scoring goals. It's something that we struggled with a little bit at the start of the season, but now we seem to have really turned our fortunes in that side of things. Yeah, we've got some really good attacking players, really good attacking players. It's just finding the right gel at the moment. Um, and it will come. Um, but an Anna Devonshire side has always been hard to beat and very little goals. Um, we've just got to get back to being there. Joshua Johnson obviously came off injured in the first half. Is there an update on him? It doesn't look great. We can't say too much at the moment because we don't know, but it doesn't look great. Um, the lad's been brilliant for us um, and we'll make sure we, um, we help him accordingly. But yeah, the injury didn't look great. Finally, Pierre, we've now got a week before our next game where we welcome Dagenham and Redbridge to York Road. How will you look to kind of right the wrongs from today? Yeah, we're going straight into analysis. We're going to um, assess the defending. And I'm not talking about the defenders. I'm talking about the team as a whole. Um, I'll make sure we put that right. Um, we we'll try our best to train as best as possible for the next game. Um, but essentially, we want to make sure we put on a performance on our next game. And just a quick word on the fans who were loud and proud and, you know, back to us right to the very end. Incredibly loud and incredibly proud. And still clapping us five, six minutes after the game had gone. Um, we'd like to put on a show that ended in a, in a, in a point at least. Uh, we weren't able to do that, but we'll make sure we do that next game. Yeah, cheers. Thanks,